ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the stage, Monique Marvin! I'm delighted. I hope you guys like the dress. Thank you. I dressed up for you. It's tighter than a frog's ass in flight. I, uh, I'm a meaty woman. I like my food. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really like my food. Don't trust skinny chicks. Physical pleasures are physical pleasures. If a woman doesn't like a good meal, there's a pretty good chance she's not gonna be into who's your daddy. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a direct correlation. Watch a woman eating barbecue. If she sucks the meat off the bone and it's so clean you can put it back in the cow, you want that one, all right? I, uh, yeah, yeah. I know a few things about relationships. I fail, fail, fail relationships. That's how you learn. You screw stuff up. You just mess it up holes. I gotta just mention your hair situation on your face, sir. I, uh, I don't usually go right at somebody, but that's a bold statement, you know what I mean? That's a crazy kind of, I used to look like that and then I met a waxer. I, uh, yeah, I, that's, cause that's, that's a, you got, that's not even a, that's not a beard or mustache or goatee. Like, how do you describe that? That's like a facial vagine. That's uh yeah, that's, that's I've never seen, fa it just stopped me. I don't mean to be distracted, stopped me dead in my tracks. So uh, yeah, yeah, craziness. I am, um, yeah, so I've been married and divorced three times. I just like to get the bad news out. Just get it out, just get it out so nobody judges me. I don't count, yeah, what, what do you mean wow? Like, really? I get a wow? Can I just explain? I don't count my first husband, okay? I don't, I don't, because I'm Hispanic and Catholic. And you know, I'm, I married my high school sweetheart. You know, that's what you do when you're young. It's going steady with paperwork. I was an idiot. I was a pendeja. Uh, that's what my people do. You marry the first man you see naked. That's what you broke it, you bought it. You know, stupid. <laughs> stupid. And I tried to save that marriage. I even went to a marriage counselor when it failed, because my mom was like, Miha, did you go to counseling? I tried to save it, I went to a marriage counselor. Let me tell you something, if a couple's in marriage counseling, it's because the guy fucked up and the woman caught him. Because men, <laughs> it's true. Men don't want to go to counseling. Let me clue you in, ladies. Men don't even like talking to us about their feelings. <laughs> They sure don't want to talk to a stranger and they don't want to pay for the privilege. If a man is talking to a stranger about his feelings, it involves a hand jam, okay? That's what it involves. It's a happy ending discussion. It's not about feelings, you know? So yeah, I married my high school sweetheart. That's what I did, it runs in the family. And then my second marriage, you're pointing at her. She married her high school sweetheart a, a while back. Cause she, no, I mean, I don't mean to, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I mean, hey. Let me tell you something, you're not fooling me with the Betty Crocker hair, you know some stuff, you know what I mean? That's, the worst prejudice in the world is ageism. People look at an older lady and they think, oh my goodness, watch yourself. She's been looking at wiener since before I was alive. She was looking at, oh, hairy wiener. She wasn't even, yeah, guys trim now, did you know that, ma'am? It's not like back in your day where it looked like a buzzard hanging out of his nest on a cliff wall. Is that you guys? 54 years? Holy cow. I don't know if you guys know this, but when guys get older, the, it matches, you know what I mean? Like, this guy looks like Santa Claus with a long nose down there. That's, uh, that's what we got work. 54 years and you're happily married. I am so crazy jealous. I wish you were my parents. I really do. So embarrassing. No, I'm not, the fourth, bite your tongue. Let's uh, look at, wow, I wish they were, I really do. I wish, what stability? Do you know what my childhood was? My parents were multiple marriers. See, I got it from them. My dad was married five times, my mother four. They married each other twice. My third stepmother was a retired Mexican hooker who evidently was the Brett Favre of Coochie and could not stay retired. And uh, my second stepfather turned gay, okay? I think you bring about what you think about. My mother used to constantly live in mortal fear that her husband, who was younger than her and attractive, kind of hot, we all wondered what the hell, but who knew? You know, I mean, it, they didn't match. Little did we know. My, my stepfather did not leave my mother for a younger, thinner woman. He left my mother for an older, fatter man. <laughs> you can't make that up. He came roaring out of the closet on a hog. I, uh, I'm not calling his boyfriend a hog. It was a Harley, sir. He rides a motorcycle, okay? He does. He rides in the gay pride parade in New York, an assless chap saying, give me my dignity. It's a good time. <laughs> I keep in touch with him. He's an amazing person. He's so sweet. But he's not my stepfather anymore. And, uh, and things changed. You know, getting back to my second marriage, I thought that one was going to work. I'm not going to lie to you, because we had a lot of chemistry. 
We just had a lot of chemistry. We had nothing in common. We fought like crazy. And you can't marry someone for chemistry because chemistry won't overcome when a guy's sleeping and all you can think to yourself is, shit, he's breathing. You know what I mean like that? You can't, you gotta leave. You gotta leave when that happens. You gotta leave. Yeah, and then there was such ambivalence about getting married the third time. I really didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it, and I was in my late 30s, and my girlfriend started in on me. You're going to want a baby. You're going to want a baby. Like that. Like it was the H1N1 virus was going to come over me, and I was going to have this baby lesson. It was going to make me crazy. And I was like, oh, my goodness, yes, I do want a baby. I don't know why they tricked me, because I'm ambivalent about children. They frightened me. They, they made me succumb to fear. Because honestly, kids are little and you trip on them. You know, they're just in your way. I'm clumsy. My dogs know. Get under the couch. Mommy's been drinking. You know, they know. I don't drink a lot, but once you open the bottle of Boone's Farm, who's closing that up? You know? It's, uh, yeah, and kids are like little stinky beggars. They follow you around. They do. They just follow you. Apple juice, apple juice, apple juice, like that. They're like little drunks, apple juice, you know? I got nieces, I know. And they come out of your privates. They kind of play that down. People play it down the way kids come into the world. I mean, I'm not bragging about Snap the Wonder Clam, but you know, she served me, you know. I'm not saying I'm, this lady's like, Snap, oh my goodness. You're, yeah, I like you. I like this whole crowd. You guys, this lady on the aisle, we want to get a hold of her in the animal print. Don't turn around, you're an old tramp. You're the good kind. <laughs> cruise with you, sister. Oh, yeah, you're a good time. You're a good time. Yeah, ki kids, they do, they, they, you know, and, and the thing is about that, you know, the thing is about that, I'm a chicken. People come up to me, they go, you're a comedian. That's so scary. I'm like, do you have kids? And like, yeah, I'm, that's way scarier. That's way scarier. They come, they got big heads. I got nieces. They got big heads. That just sounds so painful and frightening, you know? Like, what do you, you sit there, I, I was sitting there, I shouldn't say this, but my cousin Kim, her kid has a giant head, and I'm sitting there the first birthday, just, you know, stroking the kid on the head, sitting there, and I'm like, how long was it till you weren't whistling like a Coke bottle down there? She said, I'll let you know. Why did I fall for this? Why? But I thought, you know, maybe, maybe I would want a baby. And again, where I come from, you don't just have a kid. You get married and you have a kid. So stupid. So I, I succumbed. I, I married my third husband thinking I was going to want a kid. And then about 10 minutes into the marriage, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, let me tell you something. God wants you to go to the promised land. It's you that make him take you through the bad neighborhoods. My third marriage was Compton. That's unbelievable stuff. So yeah, my... My, my third marriage was a disaster. I got out of it. I dated for a little while, and that was an even bigger mess, because I'm honest, you know? And evidently, dating involves lying. I am not a good liar. I'm awful at it. I tell people, my name is Monique. I put the hoe in honesty. I, uh, yeah, it's true. I'm totally, I just put it out there. I just, you know. So I, me and my girlfriends, I have a group of girlfriends, and we went through a period of time where we just kept picking bad, stupid men. You know, what I call disclaimer men. You know when you gotta call ahead and explain to your friends, he hasn't been sober very long, you know what I mean? You gotta call ahead and pave the way for the disclaimer men. Pretty blonde girl, you've dated one of those? Like he, yeah, he had a rough childhood. His uncle had wandering phalanges. You know, you gotta explain it to people. Yeah, that'll sink in in the car. Oh my God, a deal. I, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so, so yeah, I dated the disclaimer men forever, and you were always having to explain things to people. It was so embarrassing. And, and then when you break up with them, you just objectify them. Like, every woman has nicknames for her ex. Dog of Satan. You know, yeah, yeah, that was one of mine. I had a dog of Satan. Yeah. Guys never have nicknames for exes. They're just all psycho bitch. Or... Yeah. The guys are like, finally, we're getting somewhere. I'm on your side, guys. A lot of guys won't come see a lady headliner because, like, she's a man basher. I love men. Don't let this talk about my three divorces frighten you. I love men. I am straighter than Yoko Ono's pubic hair. I love men. I love men. I love men. Married and divorced, three of them. Not your fault. I was a bad picker. Not your fault. I'm delighted now. I love my life now. I have an amazing boyfriend now. He's amazing. I love him like crazy. He's way younger than me. He's crazy young. Oh, yeah. People go, how young is your boyfriend? For his birthday, I took him to Legoland. I, uh, yeah, he's, he's young.
let's face it, people make assumptions. You see an older woman, you see a younger man, you figure I'm riding him like a Harley in second gear. But it didn't, and I am. But I didn't start out that way. We were actually friends, we actually hung out, we had a good time. And to say that I'm a cougar implies that he is prey. To say that, oh, that makes him sound like a wounded fawn, like some little idiot sitting there like, ah, oh, not the wiener! <laughs> Isn't like that. Cradle robber. See, they call women names. If you're gonna call me a name because I'm with a younger man, call me what I am, sore. <laughs> Do not fuck with me, little dude. There'll be nothing left of you but a hair gel and a fake Rolex. Do not. 